from your local news source. This is ABC 27 News at 5.30. <laughs> well, after all these years of hearing that voice, and now you get to finally know what he looks like. I've never seen him before either. <laughs> oh my gosh, he also has a name and quite a story. Seth Kaplan introduces us to the ABC 27 announcer, Bob Tracy. First, the high school radio station. I started working professionally at 16 years of age. Then TV. It was WTVJ in Miami. Where I first met Bob in 1994. I was an intern practicing to be a reporter someday. And the first time. Bob was already an actual announcer. The Lotto Drawing, live. That's him behind Dan Marino. I started locally. But then a conversation with a coworker. She said, hey, there's a, this other guy named Charlie Van Dyke. From Harrisburg's leading news station. He actually records in his studio in Arizona. Four stations everywhere. Channel 2 News, St. Louis. Action News. And he was the gold standard. For he is the grandfather. He is the, uh, you know, uh, OG of this kind of thing. Television voice imaging. Then Bob branched out. WHTM 27. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Still living in Fort Lauderdale where he records news promos coming out for us. How this will help save students money and jumpstart their careers. Tonight on ABC 27 News at 5. I hear you yeah. everywhere. I didn't realize that we were one of your yeah. earliest early. stations. Yeah, I've been with you guys a long time and a great team of people. One of a group of voices that are everywhere. Right here at home in Kansas City. There's about 10 guys. In the early days, literally guys. 70, 80 years ago. Coming up on the NBC Radio Network. We, you don't do that today. Today, it's very personal. It's very real. And... Thank God there's more voices than ever before, you know, of every race and sex and, and uh, you know, gender. He means thank God, literally, too. Remembers a talent agent trying to recruit him, asking, Who's your agent? And as a Christian, it was one of those moments in my faith, like, do I tell the truth? Am I honest here? And I said, well, you know, I've always thought of Jesus as my agent. There's a long pause, and he says, Hey, if he's working for you. <laughs> Some things haven't changed all these years, like how Bob has to really know his local markets. And I said, excuse me, can you tell me what street am I going to take to get back to the highway to get back to Lancaster? And he says, oh, don't fool with me. You know how to say it. You must be from there. <laughs> And I said, oh, because I didn't say Lancaster? Bob has been on camera. Hey! But 99% of my work is voice acting. Meaning moments like one in a Chicago hotel lobby. Suddenly, a lady behind me in line, she says, wait a second, wait a second, why do I know your voice? <laughs> and I said, where do you live? And she said, I live in Detroit. I said, this is WXYZ. This is WXYZ 7 Action News. <laughs> Goodness, that's you. <laughs> when I first wanted to get a job as a teenager, my mom said, if you could find something you enjoy doing, you'll never work a day in your life. Working for you. Both of us. Or Bob's mom might say, neither of us. In Fort Lauderdale, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News. Your most accurate local forecast starts now with Chief Meteorologist Eric Finkenbinder. Hey, there he is again. Hear him all the time. Hey, let's <laughs>